Press the pound sign. Uh, this message is for Jake and, uh, Jason Nicholas. I've been listening to him on Fox. Um, you know, this fucking nigga, you niggas are not going to be satisfied until you change every fucking piece of shit holiday to nigga day. Okay, you can have it. Let's change Martin Luther King, nigga day. Christmas, nigga day. Columbus, nigga day. He's talking about uh, Columbus bringing and killing 200,000 people. What about the fucking camel niggas that got the nigga blood in them? The terrorists, the fucking Syrian Muslim piece of shit, ISIS nigga terrorists. Well, don't you give a shit about them? I mean, how many people did they kill? The ca fucking camel niggas. How many fucking fucking niggas did were killed uh, in Africa by other niggas? Huh? You tell me that. How about the, the trafficking, uh, nigger trafficking of young children? What about that, you fucking piece of shit? You're unbelievable. You people, you niggas are unbelievable. I mean, it's just you blame everybody else for your demise. And you know what? You love to get a bleeding heart because that's how you survive, by playing the fucking victim. You people cannot live in a civilized society because you're fucking primates and you're uncivilized. 50% of the murders in over 50% of the murders in this country are committed by fucking niggas. And there's only like, what, 15% of you people? You know, you don't belong here. You fucking don't belong. The rest of you fucking assholes are either working for the state, working for the college, working for the government, working, you know, or working for, uh, for the cities, and I'm paying for you. You're either fucking on welfare, looting me on fucking welfare. What the fuck do you niggas do all day on fucking welfare? Or you work for a fucking college, you know, and I'm still fucking paying for you. You know, it's sickening. You're fucking sickening. Fifty years of affirmative action that I couldn't even get a job because of you fucking niggas. I was almost raped by a fucking piece of shit nigger in a, in a, in a, in a ladies room in a restaurant. My cousin, 21, a firemost, defended the housing project where you fucking animals live. He was murdered by a fucking nigger. You know, you people are disgusting. You don't belong here. You know, you belong in the in Africa where all the jungle jungle monkeys are. Let's face it. I, 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 I was a probation officer. I saw it for my own, I heard 18, 19 year old girls coming to me, they were picked up for worthless checks. You know what? Their mommies told them, you better get yourself fucking pregnant because you gotta bring in fucking money. You know, then I worked uh, with high risk babies. I worked with a, a black couple that was very rich in the community. And she told me all these fucking female niggas are looking to get my, get, get pregnant by my son because you know, we're rich in this area, and they want our, they want support. You fucking assholes. You don't belong. You, your IQ level is so low. It, it, statistically, white people have higher IQs than you people. You fucking son of a bitches. All you do is play the victim. The, the uh, Asians come in here, they get out of the fucking ghetto. The Russians come here, they get out of the fucking ghetto. You fucking assholes. What are you, that stupid? You can't even fucking get out of the ghetto. You love it because you like to do your drugs. You like to live in filth. Let's face it. That's who you are. You are jungle monkeys, and there's not. Look, look at Chicago. Uh, a a eighteen thousand. Uh, look at look at that. Three four thousand murders. You fucking people killing one another. You niggas are killing. You don't see white people doing that. You fucking niggas. You're killing one another. You don't give a shit. And you know what? You fucking niggas sold your own kind into slavery. Who the fuck do you think sold you into slavery? The niggas in Africa. Hello. Get real. Get into a realization. Put your fucking drugs down. Stop stealing from me uh, as a white person. Stop looting me. That's all you fucking niggas did. Further action. You know, come on, 50 years of affirmative action. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get a job because of you fucking niggas. And then I see the niggas that they hire. Oh, they couldn't even fucking write their name. I worked in a pre-apprenticeship... To respond to this message, press 1. To delete, press star D. To skip, press the pound sign. Voice message from... AASP 51158. Received at 11.45 a.m. Tuesday, October 10th. 4 minutes 10 seconds. Mailbox 5. What? Very quick.
quickly, I just want to finish what I had to say. Uh, I was involved in a pre-apprenticeship program, and um, I was making maybe ten dollars more a week than the than than they were given these thirty-five uh, people, twenty-three years old, an affiliation with the unions, the carpenters union and painters union. The thirty blacks and five whites. Okay, all right. I was making ten dollars more than they were a week, and I had my masters. Okay, so I gave up my time and my effort. That's why I know what's going on, because I deal with niggas. I'm sorry. But that's the truth. Do you know, after a week, 30 of the niggas never showed up. The five whites did. This is a pre apprenticeship Charlie. I'm trying to get the GED. And I was a teacher in Consul. I was a good person. I didn't feel the way I did. The more you deal with niggas, the more you d you're disgusted with them. But anyway, none of these niggas showed up, right? And I asked them very nicely. I said, why are people, why aren't you all coming again? Oz don't work for chump change. Oz don't work for chump change. That's what they told me, these niggas. Oz don't work. And they're going to do this again. That piece of shit Obama's going to do this again. This, these, don't you understand? This is, this is over a 20-year period I'm talking about. These fucking niggas, you never change. This is over a 20-year period in three or four states. I remember being nine years old. My mother taught, see, taught sewing, you know, in the housing project. And you know what they told her? You work too hard, the niggas. You work too hard. Why don't you get on welfare and let the white people work, uh, you know, let the white people pay for you. You work too hard. Go on welfare like we do, okay? That's your nigger mentality. That's your nigger philosophy. I'll tell you, the only people who respect niggers are the ones who don't, don't even have anything to do with them like that, like that fucking killery cunt and that other piece of shit Pelosi. I doubt very much if they have any, anything to do with niggas. And this is, this is the truth. I have never, I know more white people. I, know, I don't know one person that ever killed anybody. But yet, my cousin was killed by a nigger. And I was almost raped by a nigger. You know? It, it's just, you're disgusting. You, you know, you play the victim and you're not victims. You're, you, you know, you know how to do it. You never fucking work. I go, I go shopping. I, I always see the niggas buying stuff. I don't see them fucking working. They all work for government plantations. It's totally disgusting. It's about time a white person tells you how they feel. Because we're flipping the bill for you fucking bastards. That's all we do is flip the bill. And we can't even get a fucking job because of affirmative action. How many more fucking years? 50 years of affirmative action. How many more fucking years do we have to pay? You bastards. I am so tired of it. I am so tired of it. When I was like eight years old, I was reading books like Go Tell It Around the Mountain. I bet you don't even know what the hell these books are. And Black Boy, you buy Richard Wright. You read this. I had empathy for the blacks. Boy, when I got to work with them, I really knew how you all were. Uh, how you all are. Most all of you. I had black friends. You know what they did? I got so sick and tired of them telling me how bad white he was. I am so fucking fed up. Fed up with it. You, you got, you, you given, you have, the white people have given you everything with a silver spoon. You know, and, and you can't even, you can't, you can't even get out of the fucking ghetto. All you do is kill, kill each other. You are totally, and, and kneel down. That's all you fucking do. Get off your fucking head. Yeah, you should be kneeling for the security people who help the fucking nigger athletes, who, who protect them. That's who you should be kneeling for. The policemen who sit there and protect these fucking piece of shit athletes. You know, it's, you're disgusting as a race. You really are. And if I were a black, I'd be so fucking humiliated and embarrassed. It's about time you hear it from us white people. A lot of white people feel like I do because you're nothing but fucking niggers. To respond to this message, press 1.